Teacher, when I'm talking, keep the camera on me. I'm not talking while it's the camera on me. High five. Yeah, yeah. Hey, hey, how's everybody going? Hope everything's doing all right for you. If you haven't done already, please subscribe to the video. Give the video a thumbs up. Or if not, you know, just whatever. Whatever you want to do. It's 2020. You can do what you want to do, right? Kyle's over there mowing stalks. We've got a... Or not mowing. I should correct myself. Kyle's not mowing. He's pulling and chopping the stalks with the new chopper slash whatever you want to call it. Anyway, so I'm going to mark these modules. And they give you a number to spray paint on it. Uh, so they know whose farmer the modules belong to. So let's get with it. Let's do it. Let's roll. And lo and behold, the module truck has already showed up. Um, usually they're not this quick, but they must be on it today because I just called this in, shoot, not 30 minutes ago. So walk up here and get some footage of him stealing our module, taking it to the cotton gin. There he goes. Swallows it whole. That's why you can't make one too big. You'll cut it in half when you go to get it with the truck. A little wet from all the rain we got. Made it look easy. Made it look easy. Go check on Kyle. Kyle done clogged it up. So, uh, so this is the Herald. This is the official name of it. Yep. So it's the same brand as our uh, module builder. Makes a cotton chopper slash pull it. it ding now. Pretty simple design. You got blades on the front and your choppers. Stalk guides. Super choppers. Nice. Looking pretty good. So it actually uproots the cotton stalks. It doesn't just chop them. Should be uprooting them which the main benefit of this is it uh helps reduce your nematodes because your nematodes will feed on your roots of your cotton so when you get them to the surface and then disc them under there's really nothing for the nematodes to eat on now i came up here we we're starting to move some equipment this is an old peanut picker a lilliston 1500 two row picker uh dad's had it. it's actually in pretty decent shape uh it's been up on the shed for quite a quite a while is that universal still good Oh yeah, look look at that. So they've changed quite a bit, but not really. It's still kind of the same concept. Shaker pan in the back, header teeth in the front. Got your basket. It's the next day, and I don't know if we're gonna get to pick cotton or not. We've got uh, cloudy skies, as you can tell. And they're calling for rain, uh, moving in about 12 o'clock. So it's not looking, uh, not looking promising to pick any cotton today. Been an issue since we've got this cotton picker is uh, when we go to let the basket down. So this is the basket up, but when you go to transport it, you let the basket down. That way you can get up under all your trees and your power lines, but it's not letting down. Why is that, Jeff? Well, one of the problems we got is uh, we got these two bars. Yep. That come down and they push on this bar, which lets your shoots down. Yep, your well, six shoots. Exactly. Well, this bar is bent. So when this bar, and this bar come down, that bar touches first, and then it just kind of gets it all cattywampus. Cattywampus on us, cattywampus on us. Oh. Probably get that D-Walt up there, a little small 3 8s. Yeah. Mm. So there's the culprit. Get her straightened out, we should be good to go. Well, the guy's gonna work on that. I'm gonna head up here. Get us a gravity flow wagon, is what we call them. Got a guy who's gonna get some oats, so we're gonna get him loaded up. That's where we had the corn augered out. You can tell it's germinating good. Oh, my animal. 
Oh, man. Well, we're gonna try it, see what it's gonna do. Hopefully it, uh, the rain will hold off for a little bit. Maybe we can get a module or two picked. And Keefe said he's gonna let me pick cotton today. Got more rain coming, got a hurricane coming. Anyway, we're gonna try it. Go as long as we can go anyway. A lot of regrowth. You'll notice at the bottom, it's already got leaves coming back on. And regrowth is not a good thing, mainly because it stains your cotton. So when you pick cotton, you want nothing but a stalk and cotton to pick. But when you've got leaves going through the cotton, it stains it. And uh, the gins don't like that, so they'll dock you on your fries. I don't even know if we got any jumper cables. Boss's truck. I don't know if Jim's got cables or not, but A lot of people don't like running the module builder. I like running the module builder. As long as it ain't 95 degrees outside. All right, ready to roll. Well, we didn't pick much cotton. We got enough for a module. Just wasn't picking the cleanest. And we got, how long before the rain gets here? Module. 11 bells. Was your key left on? I think I know who did it. Rain. Cassidy. She's in the tractor. That's good. There she is. Hey, Keithy. What's up, bud? Hey, everybody. You're going to have to pat that gas. Yep, I reckon I wasn't running it. Yeah. Jim was running it. And they got dang Look at that. Those three rows right there. All the way down. Hey man, that looks like Daddy's gonna have a fit when he sees that. I'll tell you that much. You're gonna have to repeat that. So Y'all need to let me get on that thing. So if you guys are just watching, tuning in live, we're headed down here. Kyle's running the cotton. It's pullers, digger, what do you call it? Chopper. Chopper. Cotton chopper. Stalk chopper. Stalk chopper. Um, we're going to check him out. Or check the implement out. See how it's doing. If he's wilding up everywhere. That's going to be a nightmare trying to dist. Yep. Let's go check it out. He's up rooting him. You on your shifted line or the other one? Uh, every time I shift it, we I can, have to do yeah, it. Yeah, we never could get it on the oh, right line. Oh, Lord. We never could get it on the right line yesterday. I'm just having to shift it every time. It's probably it got something to do with the width of the implement. Right. Or well, that's like that. aggravating. Yeah, and I had to get Jim to um, look at the GPS. I couldn't Hell, get good luck right. finding him. He's frolicking. All right, we're going to head up here and look. Kyle's got this thing all set wrong. Oh, let's see here. Gita pizza in here? Oh, uh, Sounds like pizza. Sounds like pizza. Yeah, no, no, you rev it up afterwards. No, you gotta hit about nine gear. Come on. You don't know what to do. I know what to do. <laughs> this ain't my first rodeo. I'll tell you that right now. Right now, I tell you another thing. You don't need to be listening to the radio on this tractor. Why not? You need to focus on what you're doing. I do focus. Hey, put that daggone phone down. You need to focus on where you walk. You fall too much. You need to mind your own business. <laughs> Just, I don't want to hear you running at any slower than 10 miles an hour. All right. It look good without it. Now, I don't look that good. <laughs> All right. It doesn't. Look at that right there. Looks like pizza. Cheese pizza over there. Nobody likes cheese pizza. All right, Kyle. 
See ya. Love ya. See ya, Kyle. All right, I guess we're gonna head back to the barn now. We've got a uh, ripper roller. We gotta take some feet off. And when I say feet, I don't mean the shoes of it. <laughs> Do we, Keithy? Gotta take the shoes off. Gotta take the shoes off. Good morning. <laughs> you all right? I'm fine. I'll get Jim to edit that out. It's going. Hey guys, I'm gonna give Keefe the camera. We're gonna do a quick tour of the shop. So welcome, come on with me. This is our shop. I don't know how big it is. Daddy built it in 1991. How many square foot would you think this thing is? No idea. It's big. This is our 4960. We're doing some repairs to it. These are our dirt bikes. This is Dad's 230. Dad, Daddy's 250. Um, uh, we got our hydraulic oil, our engine oil. Keep it be quick. Quick shop. Uh, cotton seed. We got some uh, antifreeze coolant, absorb it. Uh, we got just a mess of hoses right there. Just, um, don't trip right there. Uh, this is all our bearings and everything. Uh, we got a bunch of sprayer parts, fittings. This whole rack, y'all, came out of Keithy's truck. All that. That's how much glue was in this truck. Uh, we got all this. Keith, when I'm talking, keep the camera on me. I'm not talking while it's the camera on me. Okay, now back to me. All right, so we got all our chainsaws, blowers, chainsaw gas. This is real cool, y'all check this out. These are all of our filters, you name it. Engine, oil, cabin, you name it. Oil, hydraulic, filters. All right, port lift. Um, Guys, October 31st, you gotta check this out, look at this. Specialty peanut point blades, peanut man. Um, John Deere Gator, here's all our bolts and stuff. Um, what else? We've got a fan, a welding table, this is where Keith does all the welding, cutting, you name it. The shop's a mess, but this is real life. This is how a real farm operates. Come here, I'll show you the office real quick. This is just all of our chain lube, blaster, uh, you name it, odds and ends, sockets, sockets. Here's a crafting toolbox. Are you going or not? Okay. Um, this just tools. Come on, I'll show you the office. Field rows. Fieldrows.com. All right. Here's the office. This is where in the mornings, daddy will always be there. Jim's there looking in his eyes, wishing he was the boss. And I'm usually still sleeping. Keithy sits here, uh, Jeff's here, Kyle's in that chair right there. We'll show you a quick tour. Who put that in there? Show him. Did you put it in there? Nope, wasn't me. Shut it, shut it. <laughs> All right, appreciate it guys. I'll take it, thanks Keithy. That's a quick tour shop, uh, or that's a shop, a quick tour of our shop. If you guys haven't done it already, please subscribe to our channel, like our videos. And until next time, keep it, keep it in the, be in the field road.